Every so often we get questions from people who plan to install Ethernet cable in their homes. And the most frequent question we get is, what the heck's the difference between all these different cable types? Cat 5E, Cat 6, which one should I use? Here's what you need to know. Now around your house, you probably have either Cat 5 or Cat 5E wire. Cat stands for category. Cat 6 or category 6 is cable that's more reliable at higher speeds than Cat 5 or Cat 5E. And as you can see, they look pretty much the same. In fact, Cat 6 is backward compatible all the way to Cat 4, so you can mix and match your Ethernet cable. But they're labeled differently, and they're different on the inside, where it counts. Until recently, most home routers supported speeds of 10 or 100 megabits per second. However, gigabit routers have become more common. All three of these cables technically work with gigabit Ethernet. The old-fashioned Cat5 cable, however, is no longer a recognized standard, but it technically supports gigabit speeds, just not very well. Cat5e cable is enhanced to reduce interference so that it can reliably deliver gigabit speeds. However, gigabit Ethernet still pushes the cable to its limits. Cat6 cable, full-on certified to handle gigabit speeds. It's meant to handle it, and it does it the best. It's also suitable for any 10 gigabit uses that may come along someday, although at that point, you're pushing the limits of Cat6. And let's not get into Cat7 and its fairyland of 40 gigabit speeds. A Cat6 cable also has more stringent specifications for crosstalk and system noise than Cat5e does. That means you'll get fewer errors on a system operating via Cat6. But don't let me make you think Cat6 is all roses. Some folks think Cat6 is harder to install. The uh, conductors are twisted more tightly and there's more insulation. So if you need to cut cables, you need to go a little more slowly. Now for the cost. 100 feet of Cat5e cable run you about nine bucks. 100 feet of Cat6 cable, however, runs a tad more than 11 bucks. So my short answer is the price difference is not that much. Go Cat6. But here's the longer rationale. If you happen to have a bunch of Cat5e cable lying around, don't throw it away. It's useful for many more years and it should serve you well. If you're super cheap and you just can't stand that $2 per 100 foot price difference, then sure, Cat5e will do fine for the next several years. However, if you're starting from scratch and want to be ready for whatever advances come down the line, you want to go with Cat6 cable. You want to be as future-proof as possible. You wouldn't remodel your kitchen to look like 1992, right? Okay, maybe you would, but you wouldn't buy a 1992 model laptop, would you? Uh-huh, now you get me. Hope this helps you understand a bit more about Ethernet cables and helps you make a better home network. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com.